Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some squad deathmatch from uh, Bad Company 2. In this video, I want to kind of give my thoughts on Battlefield Play for Free. Because recently, the studio behind Battlefield Play for Free, EC Studios, said that there's no such thing as a casual shooter fan and that Battlefield Play for Free is supposed to be a be an alternative for hardcore players who want a or mo want more variety in their game selection without having to cash out for a new game so they based this um, they based this statement on the fact of some research that they did uh, in context to Battlefield Heroes and they found out that 75% of the Battlefield Hero pl Heroes players were actually hardcore shooter fans that picked up Battlefield Heroes because it was free and therefore another game to play and they thought that they could make a game that would um, kind of fit the hardcore gamer but still be free and that's where Battlefield Play for Free comes into the picture and the thing is that I don't think that they've done a good job with it making a game for hardcore shooter fans that is free to play because I don't think that Battlefield Pay for Free is suited for a hardcore player. I I think it's too casual really. I don't think that it doesn't tell me as I would say I'm a pretty hardcore shooter fan. I mean I play a lot of shooters. I mainly play shooters. I play them a lot and I'm pretty decent at them. And I don't feel like I'm being taken serious or I, I don't I don't it doesn't feel like it's a serious shooter game to me. And it's a couple of things that kind of makes it makes me feel that. For example, um I I don't care for the the slot system that they use with all the different slots uh, where you have uh, a one slot for each number key one through zero on the keyboard and you can put of course the the equipment that you're gonna carry with you you can put that in what order you you want so you can have you know your primary on number four or whatever but still it, it feels kind of it feels like battlefield heroes and that game was supposed to be casual, supposed to be a not non-hardcore, uh, and it doesn't feel right when they kind of try to adopt that to a hardcore game. Another thing is the fact that you can't change class in the middle of a game, because when you're uh, when you start playing Battlefield Play for free, you make a character or a, or a soldier, as they call it. And this soldier, you give him a nick, a name, and you choose a kit for him to run with. And so you may make a character, and you choose the kit that he's supposed to use, and that's it. So if you're in the middle of a game, and you suddenly see the need for an engineer, and you're playing medic, you can't change kit to an engineer, because then you'll have to quit the server, go go to the main interface, change character, and then join the server again. However, the problem is there is no server browser either. All you click is a play now button and you'll be automatically assigned a server. And I realize that that may be somewhat familiar for shooter fans on the consoles because that's kind of how it works there with matchmaking and, uh, and automatic server choices. But if it's supposed to be for hardcore shooters, why do they make it? 
Why why do they insult us like that? I I I don't get it. I don't get it. And I I honestly don't think that they've kind of it feels like they've they don't understand their audience. And I'm not saying that the game is not going to be successful. I mean, it has all the right ingredients to actually be a great game. I mean, it's got the four classes from the Bad Company series, which has turned out great and is going to be adopted also in Battlefield 3. It has the maps from Battlefield 2, the most uh, loved maps from Battlefield 2, which is a good thing. And it all says this should be a good game but I don't think that the 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 um, execution of the whole thing it, it doesn't add up to what they they're kinda saying that they wanna make and it kinda makes me sad because it has such potential but they kind of ruin it with making it so casual and speaking of casual um, Battlefield Heroes worked in a way where you went to the Battlefield Heroes website, clicked on the big Play Now button, and the website would launch a plugin for either Firefox or Internet Explorer, which would be the game client, which auto updated and everything like that. And it's a good idea, by all means. I think it it's it's, it's actually a really good idea. The problem, however, is it's very it's strange it, it doesn't feel right I mean once again they say they're gonna make a hardcore shooter for hardcore shooter fans to kind of have as a variety in their games collection and what they're making is a game that kind of insults the intelligence and I don't care for a game that I have to open my web browser to play and and by the way I don't use either Firefox nor Internet Explorer I don't use either of those so I either have to install Firefox or I'll have to use Internet Explorer to actually play the game and I I, I have to set up one of those, those browsers, browsers just to play the freaking game and it's not that much work yes I realize that but still really and you I've set Firefox up now so that it, uh, when it starts, it automatically goes to the Play Now page of Battlefield Play for free. But still, I don't want to start the browser just to play my game. Why can't I just have a an executable on my desktop or in Steam if I want and just play the game as I do all, all other games? Why do they have to do it that way? I don't get it. Because it doesn't it just makes me not want to play the game because it's I, I don't know it, it's it's not where all my other games are so I kind of have to seek it out every time I want to play it and that's not what I'm looking for and um, I'm, I'm just I'm just a little I'm a little disappointed, you know, because I kind of want Battlefield Play for free to succeed, and I think the premise is great, but I don't think that they're executing it correctly, and they are definitely not doing a good job of making it appealing to hardcore shooter fans. So, if that's their demographic, they're doing a horrible job, and it kind of makes me sad, you know? I will, however, say though that I played. I've played some Battlefield Pay for Free now recently, and because I said in the video where I gave gave away five beta keys that I hadn't played it for a while, so I thought, well, I should probably get back to it uh, and get some more play time because I know that the soldiers have been reset since then, and it's been probably patched a whole lot of times too, and I should. You know, see if it's been, uh, if it's any better now than it were, and it definitely is. I mean, it's not as buggy bef as before. It doesn't crash nearly as often. Uh, there is a lot less lag when you play, and I mean, it's coming along gr nicely 
regarding bugs and crashes, but all the other issues? I don't know, guys. It doesn't it doesn't click correctly. I I don't know. It's it's too bad. Well, that's all for this time. I hope to see you next time. Snackers.